So welcome to another DocSign video. In this video, we'll show you how to turn your dynamic document from Salesforce into a powerful signature document using Titan DocSign. Okay, so I've got Word document here. It's pulling from opportunity, again, more opportunity, and then opportunity account, and then all the related um, contacts to that account and the opportunity, and then the opportunity products. Okay, very, very simple. And then I'll put standard signature option here. You just click here, and then you just insert your signature. That's it, super simple. Just simply this, insert that. I won't insert it because I've resized them all now really, really nicely. And then I'll show you what the preview version looks like. So if I preview this, all the dynamic data in there, this is what the end result looks like. It's really, really nice. So let's just wait for it to ren render correctly. Okay, so here it is. Here's my data, everything pulling through really, really nicely. Here's my dynamic data with images and coming in it. All cool all this stuff from the opportunity products and the images coming through and then everything else. Really, really nice and simple. But now what you can do is you can do something really, really cool. So you can insert this into a doc sign. And the way you do that is like this. You click on a field here. You click on insert edit slash interactive field. You need to check a document field and then just insert. That's it. Do the same here. We'll do this one more time. Document field, insert. Go back here. Interactive field, document in field, insert, and then insert it again, like this, again, document field. Once this is done and you've got your signatures on there, go ahead and click save. And then now, now what we're going to do is we're going to insert this document directly into our doc sign. So we'll go in there and then we'll just simply click on it, go to insert our document. Now, the document is in there, and it's also got a merge fields directly in there from a Word document, but will they pull through? Is that the question? Will this dynamically pull through the data in here? This is just a DocSign product, right? What will happen? Let's see. Let's see what happens. So I'll rename this. I'll call this DocSign Titan Dynamic, and we'll save this. Now, what we need to do is set up the access. I'm going to set it as dynamically from Salesforce from my opportunity product as a button. And then two people are going to sign it. My contact, which we'll call PCN, primary contact name. And then second one is opportunity owner name, OON. Then I'm just going to go ahead and assign the fields to PCN here. And then here I'm going to go ahead and assign them to OON, just like this. Now, well, next thing is we're going to check our tracking, make sure that everything is tracked. And then it's uploaded as files. Super, super nice. Click apply. Done. And then I'm going to go ahead and configure my details there. So I'll choose opportunity. Condition is going to be opportunity equals record ID. So we're going to use this from the opportunity. And then I'm going to click plus and add a contact. And the condition is going to be contact ID equals hashtag one opportunity primary contact and then we'll just map our fields. So we'll get first name, last name, email, and then the text field, I'm going to go ahead and put full name in there. I should have tagged it, but it doesn't matter for now. Click apply, click apply, click apply, and then next I'll go to OON, add object. This one is going to be opportunity, map field, set mapping, and then I just need to set the condition here. So opportunity ID equals record ID. And then I'm going to add a child, which is a user, like this. And then the condition is going to be user ID equals hashtag one opportunity owner ID, like this. And then we'll just go ahead and map our fields. We'll say first name goes here, last name goes here, email goes here. And this text will I'll give it full name, and that's all I care about for now. All right, and this is done. Now, finally, I'm just going to set up my push, which is going to push this file as an attach uh, as files. So we'll choose files, and this contract is going to get pushed through. So title other, and we'll just say contract demo dynamic. So contract demo dynamic and then the first published location ID is going to be record ID 
and then version data is going to be your document. Apply and finish, and we're ready to go. So now if you've given it a collaboration permission, I'll go into my opportunity, and I'll just quickly explain that who this is actually going to. It's going to two people in my within my opportunity. I'll show you quickly. It's going to go to uh, first of all, uh, first the primary contact, which is Tim Blogs, and then opportunity owner, which is myself. FD generate. Here we go. And then this is my doc sign Tyson Dynamic. Click on that. Click sign. Okay. This is going to run the process now for me. That's going to send the email directly to me. And that's going to come over in here very, very shortly. Let me just delete these two so it's out of the way. Okay, so that's done. So very shortly, document should be coming through. It's been pushed through in there now. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look. Okay, here's my document. Waiting for that email to load up. Here it is. Click on that. Emails are a bit slow today, so okay. Here's my document. Click on incognito, and this is the first document that's going to come through. Okay, I'm going to put in my 2FA code once. Let me check this. Okay, click confirm. It's going to send me my code, so let's wait for the code to come through. Here's the code 54633. And we're in. Now remember, look at that, it's pulled the data in dynamically as well, really, really nice. So it's pulled this, pulled this, pulled all of this. It's even pulled the data dynamically. Look how nice it looks in there, right? Even in here, really, really, really nice. So it's pulled through everything really nicely. So you don't even have to worry about anything that your Word document has been dynamically picked up by DocSign. Here, I can just add some data, go ahead and sign it. There you go, it's Tim Blogs, and then that's number one signee done. Okay, so once number one signee done, now it's process for second signee. So I'll go to my email. There we go, you are requested to sign the document. Let's go in here. Open link new window. So it's going to come through now. Okay, time to enter my email in here. And now I will get the code. The code, here's my code, 42153, 42153, confirm. Okay, again, second sign EC is exactly the same thing as well. Really nice dynamic data that's just been pulled in. Okay, there is the first sign Now, the second sign is just going to sign away here. So here we just sign it, click select, and finish sign. And then once we finish sign, it's going to go to the second process like this so that process has gone through and now all we have to do is check in Salesforce and then let's have a look in Salesforce we go to the opportunity directly and then in the opportunity if I select Titan Titan's the opportunity it goes in there and then here's a tracking log by the way that's just come in that's signed everything is recorded the signatures one two all the data and then here is our dynamic contract. Look at what the data has come through really nicely as well. Here's data in there. Here's data in there. And these are our two signatures. So how cool is that? That now you can use your dynamic Word documents directly into DocSign, have the data pulled through dynamically, as well as signed and pushed to your Salesforce with the full tracking log and everything has come full circle. So excited for this feature. Thank you for watching this video.